Paula was so supportive, a true sisterhood, onboarding me to this institution, this legacy. And that's why I was gravitated to this business, its purpose of supporting women globally. What would it be like under the Kunan's leadership? And let's hear from Kun Emi. What are the visions and opportunities that you see from this acquisition? I just am so humbled to be here as Paula so eloquently discussed Kunan. Um, you know, from the minute I joined this brand, Paula was so supportive, a true sisterhood, onboarding me to this institution, this legacy. And that's why I was gravitated to this business, its purpose of supporting women globally. And like Fred said, to be a force for good. And as all of you know, the Miss Universe organization has always sought to celebrate women of all backgrounds, cultures, traditions, and provide that platform on a global stage. We know a confident woman can change the world. And here is Kunan doing just that. The first woman owner of the Miss Universe organization, this idea of inclusion and progress can fully be realized. It's, it truly is humbling to be here. This is a rich brand heritage brand and alongside the evolution of the tagline, it emphasizes how insightful and innovative and audacious these delegates and global ambassadors are. The acquisition is gonna build on the organization's strong brand and vision. I'm excited to see it develop and integrated through all the opportunities that JKN offers through their portfolio, the content distribution, the beauty, the consumer products, even entering into the new ones like the Miss Metaverse. And as Paula said, the team, Paula and I are really so excited about this evolution. And based on the feedback from today's news, the fans are even more excited. It's gonna be wonderful. In the future, uh, how are you going to make Miss Universe grow? Um, uh, first of all, I would like to do make the state to be the best, especially uh, that uh, the whole universe looking for. Um, so now we're going to have a new Miss Universe and uh, to run the show, like I would like to say it is the evolution. A thing that we want to do to be the best that is this about our hope and uh, faith that would like to see enjoyment on the stage and about the organization that uh, about branding, you know. So this is almost 10 years. What we're going to do, for example, for uh, lifestyle of the product that, that I, like I said, that is one of them. Uh, like, uh, but I, I don't, uh, just for example, that bought Louis Vuitton, uh, no one see the value of it. It like about the old uh, shop back a corner of Paris until uh, become the uh, become the leader and world leader of the Louis Vuitton. And then next we come like a Christian Dior. Everything that uh, develop right now is over 50 brands. Uh, it is come from the the uh, fate of this branding and uh, almost 1,000 million uh, women around the world. So we have the uh, big fan club, but thing that we do, uh, we don't see for this time being. It is about the, um, to develop the product that we, so for this point that we see right now is evolution. So when we want to create uh, the good thing for uh, people around the world, um, not including the lifestyle, fashion, 
uh, everything to come out. So we're gonna see a lot more than on the beauty contest on the stage. So today we would like to focus about this announcement that we have the official grant opening. Uh, this is about the thing that gonna happen uh, soon. Uh, for sure, that is the one thing that got to be on the stage and that we call like international benchmark that uh, think everything that on the stage that we have the contest uh, at the same time. It's like a, a sports uh, competition. So everyone on the stage got to be equal no matter what what country you, uh, you are. So everyone, every one from all over the world so so every woman who come not only trans uh, everyone including transgender so we are equal and we have to be fairness in justice and secondly about enjoyment that whatever you see and you will see that means it's on the stage that only once a year that everyone would like to see, would like to celebrate everything that you would like to see uh, about uh, women empowerment. That is about all, everything about women, uh, beauty, talent, power, or everything that you will see. That means I have someone that I look up to so that you're going to have like a valuable crown that on your head third so uh, it is about exemption of other business that we have so it is about all merchandising our brand that so in everything that i see all the time investment it is uh about uh, doing the high fashion product so uh, fashion week all around the world uh, new york milan paris it should be the center um to generate that we call the beautifully conference product so this can be uh, 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 utilized to use it so every time to to uh, use our product you will feel good you will feel uh valuable to have that product and have confidence and beauty elegant so this is the thing that we would like to do for um, all women including transgender lgbt so this is about the universal that we want to say that we are ready uh, to be our lifestyle for everyone and uh just a moment ago that you see the trailer, you see that about uh, cosmetic, it's coming soon. Miss Universe will be benefit or how to continue or how we can reach uh, to other, uh, to the untapped markets. So. How will benefit the organization and do you believe it will help you better interact with untapped markets? Could you please? Um, yes, absolutely. And uh, um, one of the things, hearing everything that Kun Ann just talked about, I, I actually um, was, I have to confess, I was typing to Amy, I was very excited to hear and just hearing the talk about cosmetics, um, and all of the things that this brand should have been doing for all, all, of, all of this time, I feel that the vision is there. And it's global. The Miss Universe brand is one uh, that is recognized. You can go to any country and mention Miss Universe and they will know the name. And now is the opportunity to, to capitalize on that because we do have a very uh, rich history and, and, and legacy of championing women around the, the world, not just strong women, all women and lifting everyone up. So, um, and I think by celebrating all of the women in the cultures and traditions, and I really feel we are at a point in history where women, it is their time to take, take the lead and be in the spotlight. And I think everything that is being discussed now is will transcend and will be heard around the globe.
So I think all of the things that you're hearing now, we're just scratching the surface. So I, I think um, we will, we have an opportunity. It's not just about one pageant, it's 365 uh, days a year that you'll, we'll be able to activate the Miss Universe brand. Would you like to say something? Uh, so, when we look at the product, it's not only the beauty contest. We look at that, how they, they built over 70 years, why is nothing changed. So from now on, to for the future, for everyone, sit over here, how many people are gonna, how many people are gonna be for the future? So I would like to ask you, do they have any kind of brand like this that bring in and do it? So this is about the products for all uh, uh, women. So this is the vision that what we see that uh, about the Miss Universe that we bring. So what we bring this, why we bring this? We want to see something a more, a lot more on that. And this is about to uh, be empower and and uh, become like a business level. So this is about like opportunity, like like Paula said is 360. So we have all, everything in our uh, company. Uh, so can I say something? Uh, the, so we gonna have uh, Miss Universe water. So when we put vitamin and gonna be, make the beauty, for Monsieur, so this will be available, but uh, I will I cannot say where. But so you can you can take it, and you're gonna be beautiful and get a crown. So we will discuss further more. So the other country that get not only Thailand, this will be all around the world. So, like I said, this is, this is once a year. So, Thailand is uh, famous about the tourism uh, country. So, that is uh, the first the first thing that they think about is about tourism for Thailand. So, so uh, for live at the empower for women. So, this is about to promote people to transform thing for life. And the next thing is about a corporate level. Uh, we have a TV, consumer product, manufacturer, uh, backward, forward, everything we have. So selling 24 seven that we work. So we will say that we, we are a giant company. So we have about 15 companies uh, that we are ready that we have the brand 48 for 70 years. So when we take it, we can take over and continue. We are ready. So uh, as I said, that we talk that and we are ready. So. Um, the former owner see this. So we work that we can say that this is the world class uh, that we are ready to continue to uh, evolve this not only to be to stay the same, we plan to go further. And uh, finally, we're talking about the uh, international level. And this is something about that, not only in Thailand, but it's all around every country, every country. So this means that everyone's smart. So we're gonna use and have Miss Universe to bring it over to other the countries. So that means that people go to travel and bring in money to the country. During the past two weeks, uh, we have been contacted quite immensely from uh, billionaires in many countries. Some some of them flown in to JK in 18. The last time uh, we just met with, uh, but let's not say mention the countries. They want to, uh, create a Miss Universe private jet and a penthouse for Miss Universe. 
want to um, do the client with lingerie. Let's just mention the name. It's similar to Victoria's Secret out, you know, with the butterfly wings and walk. Miss Universe, uh, this universe belong to us. We can do so many things. It, to, to answer your questions clearly, um, licensees or franchisees will honor them. They have performed so they can continue to work, but it would be better if the franchisees can add more value in the business or other businesses, whether it be, I mean, some, some, there's, some, some, there's a confirmed academy. They want to open academy, academy to to train the pageants, beauty queen, spa, restaurant, hotels, yes, and that's we be about to have. If you're gonna do it, we do it like this. You don't have to walk to us. Can I can do better? I can do this and that and that. Don't do that. If you have something on the table, you talk to me. We are open for all the money. If you have everything on the table, anything is yeah, that can be discussed. That's simple. If you've done well, continue to do so. If they walk in and I said, I'm going to do want to do your drop on the jet for Miss Universe. So I have to turn around and talk to them and we can work alongside together. And many of them are the world-class billionaires, whether they open themselves or the owner behind the scenes, there's a lot of them out there. It's up to them. There are some might put somebody in front and they'll be in the back and someone, someone want to do business and speak to me up front of course this is been in the countries and that was a great question and everyone will stay here with us and respect everyone if things are on the table this is an opportunity that we can discuss but this is is it have to you know it's a business concept it has to be both content and commerce it have to go together is that we have to be world class global content. It has to some, it is something that we have been uh, laid the foundation for a long time 70 years, 71 years. It has to come with a vision to work when you look at where other, no other people look. And as I mentioned always, that there's no, there's no word, no such thing as luck. There's no such thing as luck in the world. Luck comes with two reasons. It's preparedness, when preparedness meet opportunity. That's no just sheer luck, something just drop on your laps. So we are ready. Our ecosystem is ready. Both content, the global world-class content. We are, we are the global content traders for the past few decades, more than two decades. And at least we list ourselves in the stock market. We have our own TV channels. We have a fact our own factories. We have our own uh, media, uh, digital channel, we have our own presenter, we have branding, we have universal level brand of our own. So we are ready. Because we introduced the bin, because it's filling the ecosystem jigsaw. No, it's not just with beauty pageant, that's not enough. Why you have to bring it in? If you want to do it, we do it big. It's not the world class, it's universal class. 70 years of legacy, 70 years of legacy, anything go. We have acquired 100% managing the, the pageant that will be uh, done by the, the American. That you ask the, the right owner, how you can you allocate the, what Thailand will do, what Kunpala and Emmy will do, and, and the beauty queens, what they do, the productions and all these, everything that you go and the winners of Miss Universe this year will be in Thailand or in the United States. We focus on the missions that, that they focus on the, the pageant. And for us, we'll develop the, the commercial parts. 
But the content part would be Kun Paula, Kun Emi. We have headquarters in New York, and of course, international standard for uh, the pageant is not the standard that of, of any country. Seventy years that they have established themselves, it has to remain. Uh, the format of the the competition after the the changing of the ownership would there be any changes, especially for the the main Miss Universe and also Miss USA and also Miss Teen USA. Could you please elaborate on that, please? Who will be in charge on which part um, for the JKN and for Miss Universe organization after this? I already have a list of questions I can't wait to discuss with Kunan. And I know Paula does too. Um, I think Paula has reminded me again and again that this brand evolves. And what we're here today to talk about is evolution. So I think people should expect change. Um, we have not discussed together yet what's on the horizon, um, but I, I would say to expect some positive change. Paula? No, I agree. Obviously, the rule change to allow uh, married contestants uh, uh, in the future, um, that's just that's one major change. Uh, just the, the change that I made 10 years ago to allow transgender contestants, um, we're always changing. So we're I know we're really looking forward to when we can all sit down in Bangkok in the coming weeks and really talk, map it out for the future. But there will definitely be some changes. Um, um, taking charge on the, the content, um, the format of the competition, right? And Kun Anne will mainly uh, does what she does best, which is a content creator and also support in the commerce side. Uh. And expect many changes that might be happening. Kun Anne, uh, so uh, Kun Anne, would you please add uh, more? So Paula, about uh, 20 years ago, uh, we allow uh to come in for this uh for the competition and uh develop become one universe to be equal even get married or divorce you can come in so even you have you get married has husband but you still have a beauty in you why are you going to keep yourself at home right so and even um so even you have husband, but I am on the, on the state. I'm, I'm very beautiful. It's my, so why not? So, so this is one universe to make all, every woman, all any status, uh, even married, uh, divorce or whatever, but the age not over 27 years old, you can come in. So we can say this is the, the, the stage, the first, uh, the first stage of the world that we can say this is the one universe for the uh, equity that's uh, for our human to come up and shine your beauty to the world for um, for the rule, how to judge this. So, of course, we have the rule. So, whatever that we have, the original rule, we still state it to keep it. So, the universe for 71 years still be here. So, the format will be the same, but maybe we uh, change just a little bit of the rule to be better. But uh, justice uh, will be the international justice. And it's not only the fairness and justice. We still allow to have people to come in. Okay, the, uh, one more question from Thailand. Uh, so, we, do we have any rule about uh, any kind of cutoff? No, no. Uh, so when we see this, this person is very beautiful. So go ahead. So, Yang, what I said, um, every state we can do anything. This is the beauty. So we can do it. So applause. Why you wait for? 
Well, it's obvious oh, anything should do, anything should not do, right? So uh, this is about that we would like to uh, to participate with this. So you have to think about you would like to have a short term or long term. Long term is about the thing that will be with you forever. It is not to come in and then we miss it, that power. So it is, it is like, it is not like, oh, I like this person and bring this person. That's wrong. So it should not have that happen, even one person.